Ladies. Girl chat. Who's ready? Y'all ready? Always. Always ready. Well, let's get it started. First up, if you have a bad first date, you may be willing to give the person a second chance. You know, just one, you know. But what if you have bad first sex? Ooh. Mm, now we talking. According to a study done by one poll in Pure Romance, six out of 10 relationships start off with awful sex. Cool. Yeah, they said they don't get it done, right? <laughs> the study also found that Americans will tolerate 4.5 bad sexual experiences, four and a half, before and a half. breaking it off with There's the other person. There's only seven days in a week. I know. <laughs> four and a half, girl, four and a half. Damn. And the number one complaint from women, Lack of foreplay. You gotta warm it up, fellas, okay? You gotta warm it up, all right? Warm like it up, Chris. <laughs> so, ladies, when it comes play. to bad sex, should it be one and done or try, try again? Chuck. Man, you guys are harsh. They're saying oh, one and done. Okay, let's see by the audience. Round of applause, one and done. Round of applause. Wow. They're not playing yeah. around. Okay, what about try, try again? <laughs> you have to recognize what were the factors that made it bad to begin mm, with. Uh -huh. I think that's the important part, is recognizing, okay, what is it that's bad about this? Because sometimes they're nervous. Sometimes the equipment ain't right. <laughs> yeah. Now, if the equipment ain't right, I don't think that the next time is gonna be any better because right. they're not coming back with different equipment. It just don't work that right, way. Right, right. And equipment, you mean? You know exactly what, what God I mean. Gave it them. got you. If it ain't there, it ain't there. Yes. Like, what what am I do? I can't make it appear. Yes. But you would, you would give it another chance because. Man, life is way too short to be laying there staring at the ceiling. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but maybe it's like, the rhythm thing. It may not be, you know, sometimes... So that's why you have to know what it is. If it, is it that, um, sorry to say this, but was alcohol involved? That's what I'm saying. You, you gotta realize, yeah. okay, why, why could this have been bad? Because maybe there is a reason why you should give him a second chance. Mm -hmm. And then there's other reasons that say, oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, if we're talking about physical, yeah, maybe like that rhythm, doesn't, like, but rhythm. Okay, maybe you I, can learn each other better. It. That yeah. is deserving okay, so of So maybe question. we need to distinguish what, what is, is bad. Is, yeah. it, what is like, oh, hell no, and yes. what is, I might try, yeah. try again. Yes. Like, for example, B.O. Like real bad, oh. funky smell. Like oh, you didn't okay. shower. No, 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 no. That's yeah. a no. no. That's a hell that's no. A no. No. Okay. Same. No. Same. That, no. That's a no. Okay. What about rhythm? Like you two are just playing two different instruments. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that that should do a try again okay. because I think someone could possibly learn your rhythm and you could learn each other's rhythm a little bit if, better. If you, for me, if you too freaky. Then I, no. But okay. that's why I talked to you before, so I can find out if you like that. You know, that's, that's why it's good to date and then find out what that person likes. Yes. That is you know. very that's important. That's what I was gonna you say. Know. Very important. I was gonna say that I think the most important, essential part of a relationship is putting the four in foreplay, and this is what I mean talking about what you like in sex before you even have it. It's right. the sexiest way before. you get to know somebody. You talk about your do's, you don't, what's, what turns you on. That conversation in and of itself is hot as hell, yes. especially, especially if you're abstaining until it's the right yeah, time. Yeah, but sometimes things I, uh, happen, Jeannie. You're sitting like at a what? bar and you see something you like and you just go, well, you know what? It's like, Friday. I'm gonna try. <laughs> and, then, and then if we're gonna be honest, then you end up being home and being like, why did I do that? Like, that was such a waste of my vagina. But sometimes, yes. it's not. Sometimes you win, sometimes you strike out. Well, you see, you guys, I have like a completely kind of, you know, different experience. Yeah. Because I, I, I waited a really long time. I talked about that a lot, yeah. Um, so, for me, I, it was it was all like a, a learning experience, yeah. and that's what made it fun. Yeah. Like we did have to learn each other's rhythms. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> um, yeah. But my biggest thing is, and I did lots of foreplay before because I was. You know, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, he was trying friend. to hold out. Mm -hmm. I. I <laughs> Yes, but I think that's really important too. Even when you get married, you know what? Yes. Don't stop the foreplay. Right. Of course, right. it's yeah. very important. Yes. 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 But my thing was, if you didn't know how to kiss, oh. I don't know, I was done with you. Like if, if, if we, you know, we're on a yeah. date and uh-uh, because I feel like if you don't know how. What's a bad kiss? It's no just sloppy, yes. your teeth touch. Like no. Your teeth touch? Yeah, yeah you know, like They're you like, your teeth. Yeah. Yes. I'm not mad at a little it's bit of a sloppy down. kisser. Huh? I, I'm not mad touch. at a little bit no? of a sloppy kisser. 
No. No, no, you're saying, I think you're they saying have like, to have like, like wet. Messy, like, yeah, that's No, but they can't, like they can't just be loose with it. Not yes. like la 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 la. Not like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You have to like la 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 and then like suck. So, oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't and want you eating my face. Ear, yes. 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 Go slower. What? No. Oh, you're, not you're not getting me in trouble. I said my piece. I, I see what you're saying. So the kiss, the rhythm of the kiss tells you if the man is going to be good and bad or not. Yeah. For me, it's a, it's to a, me, I think kissing is actually very, very, yes. very intimate. Yes. Yes, if you do I, it right. I think if I can see somebody move well on the dance floor, true. that tells me they can move well in the sheet. Like not dancers? Dancers? Have you, have, have not you? Not all the time. I, I've no, but, that, dance, but I've if, never. If we're judging from something, the no. only thing we can see. Oh, I've never been at with anyone club. that could dance. 1987, <laughs> I remember, I was, mm -mm. No? But what kind of dancer was he, Lonnie? I don't know what, I thought he was a good dancer. Oh. oh. You know, and then he turned into something different. <laughs> That's what no. my, you can't always you go can't by that. you judge that either, because I do know some people that, you know, cannot dance. But and when they and get they up are there, phenomenal. Eh. I'm just saying, eh. like, yeah, okay. It's, okay. A, it's a different kind of, yes. you know, the Thrust. sideways mambo works just fine for <laughs> well, them. Okay, what here's my call? question then. What if it is not good, you know, and then y'all sitting there? What do you say to the person? Do you, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like, <laughs> don't let the door hit you on your way out. <laughs> oh man, no, you can't say that. <laughs> just I think you should laugh it off. Okay. Because it might not be like what how? you think it is. Like you know, how? Like, you know what? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wait, you guys. I had a friend, and these were, like, really young people, and uh, they had been building up to actually getting together and being together, and he admired her. He had courted her. It was a beautiful situation. And then it came down to the moment where they actually were going to make love for the first time, mm -hmm. and you guys... He, he couldn't perform. He was nervous. He was nervous. And, was and he actually, head? it's a lot more popular than people think. I've never experienced this, but... She, yes, she, it is. Th it's actually, she said this was like something normal. He went to the doctor yeah. and everything. And this happens in young guys. Sometimes they put that girl on such a pedestal that then when like the moment comes, they, they cannot yes. perform. Oh, this no. is true, guys, because look at for ladies, we don't have to show in any way that we are into it. We can fake. That's why women are known for faking yeah. it when they have to. No. Sometimes you got to warm it up. You just can't just, you know. Yes, you know. this is true. Yeah. You got to warm it up. And guys need to understand warm that. Warm it up. And sometimes they so busy trying to get there. It's like, no, you gotta, it's just like, you don't drive a car cold in the in the winter. Yeah. You gotta warm a woman up. Go you know? on yes. with that analogy. Yes. Right. Go on with that yes. analogy. Yes. You know, so. All right. Warm up the engine, yes. folks. Warm up the engine. Well, from bad sex to bad breakups, if you're in a relationship where your partner ends up leaving you for someone else, mm. it may be easy to blame the person they cheated with. But according to Jezebel, it's actually impossible to steal someone else's partner. According to the article, even though women are often portrayed as temptresses and vixens looking to snatch all the good men, a man isn't your property for someone to take from you. At the end of the day, he's going to stay faithful or he won't. Correct. Yes. 100%. So, yeah. yes. ladies, is there really such a thing as Mr. Steal Your Girl or Boy, ah. or is that just a myth? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people mm -hmm. can be relentless. They send pictures, they do texts, really? they do all kind of things. And you know you can do blocking and things like that, but sometimes, I don't know. No. Yeah. I mean, I don't think people are people's property. I won't, you know, yes. I agree with yes. that. Yes. Yes. But yes. sometimes you just... Even if that person is truly, truly, really happy and loyal in that person. I'm sorry. I, I disagree. I yeah. think that... I'm sorry to use your husband as an example. <laughs> but... That's if, he's if not, man, he's different. If I, what? No, Adam is a different There type are of different dude. men out there that literally, if a girl's going to send that picture, dude. he's yeah, going to put her in her dude. place and say, do not yes. send me photos like this. Yep. This is disrespectful yeah. to my wife, to my family. I, this is unacceptable. I, and they'll tell the wife, this girl sent me her picture. She nasty. No, you yeah. actually... Are, yeah. You are on point, because my husband, literally, he just got back you from Houston, it. and he said, you know what? And we tell each other everything. Mm -hmm. He said, Tamara, there was this girl. Uh, she was pretty, pretty. Mm -hmm. Came up to him and was like, hey, Mark. And then he was like, my name is not Mark. And she was like, you look like a Mark. He was like, I'm married. I'm married. <laughs> no, yes. thank you. He knew it. And you know what? He told me. He told me. And we tell each other. We're very, very yes. honest. But I, I, I believe in good men. 
And I and I believe I believe that good men can be faithful. Absolutely. I do. If they're I, truly, I believe truly, that truly, too. Truly have, and I believe that, that good have. men can be tested too. And Absolutely. Tested. And women tested. can be very tested. Women they won't fall. Yeah. If, if they're in the right mindset, and I think that if there's open communication where they can tell their wife, and that if they stand up for their marriage, they're yeah. not going to fall. At the or end of the day, it or has to take yeah. two to tango. It has to. There True. are women who are really good at being, you know, sexual temptation. They are. They will make it their job to go out there and try to snatch a man, try to get a look from him. And there are men who will play those games. It, at the end of the day, it really is up to the man mm. because it takes two to tango every single time. It is never one person's fault. And it's, and it's woman, on the other side, they're, too. If they're, yeah. If yeah. Yeah. Or the woman. Yeah. Too. Or the woman. Somebody has to pick up what someone's putting down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and sometimes maybe you don't mean to. Sometimes you just, you know, maybe your relationship is just long term and, How is you it know, ever an accident? No, I, no, I'm saying sometimes things are happening in relationships where maybe that person temporarily is not happy, yes. and then this person comes in and knows and that. That's, and th that's what I mean. If that mm. person isn't truly, truly ha happy, right. then there's a window. Then there's a window. Exactly. Yeah. And I think there's a difference between noticing, you know, a beautiful person, than looking yes, for a person. Yes, but we can't give, no, totally sometimes, different. yes, but marriage just goes through up and down. Yeah, you know, I'm not, yeah, not, I'm not saying that. Yeah. Yes, there's always gonna be a window to take that opportunity, to that's take not the an drinks excuse. apart and look at it, but there's still a door that's to go get some excuse. therapy and go get your Fixed before Absolutely. you go make a bad decision. That's, that's, that's no why, do you think it is, why do you think it is, though, that so many people, well, in this case, women are so much easier, instead of putting the blame on their husbands, why is it sometimes so much easier well, we for talk them about to, that all the time. to blame the other person? And I'm I think in this both. case, both, both of them yeah. are ratchet hoes. So no, <laughs> both, no, no, both of them. Yeah, that is yeah. true. But, but I think as women, sometimes it makes us feel better to say my, my boyfriend got taken from me yeah. or like it makes you feel better. I see Why do you think that is? Well, maybe sometimes it takes the blame off of you and what you didn't do in the relationship. Ooh. So. But it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be that way, but That's some women will do that. If you're asking yeah. for a reason why no, women would do that. No, not all relationships, yeah. but, you know, it's, if there's a problem and you know it's a problem and it could be eventually, you know, he could come and you, it's just. You got to be real and you got to be truthful in relationships. Yes. That's it. You have it's to true. talk it out. You have to yeah. be committed. Yeah. You got, if committed. one person's not committed, then here comes somebody exactly. else going, yes. you're not committed, are you? you why know? Believe me, they know. They can simple. seem like helpless children that can get kidnapped. <laughs> why do we make men seem like <laughs> they would just, surprised. they just, he, they just snatched them up. Like, but there, but there are men that dating? do it to women in relationships. For sure. You know what I mean? It's not just, it's just people that tend to cheat yes. or tend to want to take somebody. Sometimes people just want to take somebody because they're taken. You can that always true. tell. Yeah, not you know, true. And you can always That's tell when someone. That's an emotional issue that they got to deal with. Yeah. You can always tell when someone also talks to you about your marriage or your relationship just to put, feel how's it Absolutely. going. Absolutely. Like, they'll ask you, like, are you guys good? Like, you know, how's it going? How, have you, how long have you been together? You love them? Like, they'll ask you things just to test you. And that's your that's chance so to whether, I right? Know. And it's okay. true. You, you guys, I'm sure you've experienced Oh, it, for sure. People right? will ask, like, how's, how's married life treating you? <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Thank yeah, you for yeah. asking. <laughs>